it's it's truly impossible to to boil everything that the high school musical experience was down to one moment. Uh, when I think back on it, it, it just feels like another life. It, because it, 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 was, it was a whole lifetime of experiences packed into a few years and experiences that, that we were so lucky to have that, that, that <laughs> majority of, of people in the world just don't, don't, don't experience. And then we got to do that together and at a time um, that also was, there were the formative years um yeah uh, it's it's i just think back on the whole thing with with fondness and gratitude so my best memory uh that comes to mind right away is um from tour you know touring the united states and canada was uh you know at that time it was the best two months of my life the first thing I ever wanted to be when I was a tiny kid, you know, was like, I want to be a rock star. And obviously you get older and you never think that that's going to happen. But when it, when it happened, which wasn't something that we asked for, just was like after the movie, it's like, oh, okay, now, now we're going on tour and you're going to be rock stars. And it was madness. Absolutely insane. So exciting. But um, then we do High School Musical 2. It gets even crazier. And then they say, we're going to go out again for another concert tour, this time in stadiums in South America. And we're all excited, and it's crazy. Um, and we thought it was a big deal in America. But we go down to South America, and it was on another level. We had military police escorts everywhere we went. We uh, had just mounds and mounds of security guards and every, everybody looking after us. Um, and just mobs and mobs of people everywhere we went. But there was a moment in the, uh, the show in, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, that was our biggest show. It was uh, over 90,000 people in one place there to hear us perform, or see us perform and hear us sing. And I was the MC of the show. And two hours before the show, they're like, okay, um, uh, a lot of people in Sao Paulo speak English, but you you should learn some Portuguese before the show. And we're gonna have some teleprompters, but Portuguese is kind of tricky to, um, do you know any Portuguese? I'm like, no, I'm so sorry. And so I, I took a crash course in Portuguese two hours before I went on stage in front of 90,000 people. And, you know, there was, there was so many moments that were just unforgettable, but there was one moment I remember where I was on stage by myself and I just took a second and I held up my microphone, you know, after I said something to hype up the crowd and the sound of 90,000 people screaming just, it didn't sound like humans, it sounded like a machine of like and it almost knocked me over and I will never forget that moment, it was absolutely insane. I know I'll never experience anything like that again. So. It's funny, there have been several different reunions recently. Uh, one being the High School Musical, the musical, the series, uh, and all of us coming back together again. Even at the top of, of uh, COVID, you know, we all kind of came together again for this uh, ABC special and Every time we all get back together again, it's it's just like coming home, um, and now being here in Paris, where we had one of our in incredible experiences during the press tour, uh, coming to Paris and and visiting for the first time for many of us, now to be back here again and just to see that everyone, it, it, it's it's. If when we come together, it feels like no time has passed. Uh, it, it's it's just like it's comfort food. Oh man, you know uh, the uh, the van ride over to the convention on our first day. Um, it was all of us. It was uh, Vanessa and Corbin and Drew and Bart and I all in in one van, and we got in and I was like, guys, 
this is happening. We're, we're all together again. We're in Paris. This is... This is insane. The, the minute that you think High School Musical is done reuniting us and the everything that has ever happened is going to be done, it's it comes back. And doesn't matter how much time has passed, it is just, we pick it right back up and, uh, you know, we're not talking about like, oh, what movie are you working on? Or like, blah, blah, blah. We, we reminisce. We talk about current events, we talk about whatever, and it's just like we're we're back on set and hanging out and, and sharing life together. And it's a beautiful thing that uh, High School Musical has united us for, for then and for now and forever. Um, it's, it's always going to be a special thing that, that holds us together. It's beautiful. I don't know. I don't know what, uh, if if there ever was to be a fourth movie, what what that plot might necessarily might necessarily look like. I mean, we do have um, a sort of example of that with the High School Musical, the musical, the series season four right now, uh, because the premise is that we are shooting the fourth movie. Um, so there is a plot, but. Uh, if that would actually be what the real plot was that in, in real life if we were to do it, I, I don't know. Um, but I do think one thing that I would love to see explored, of course, is the relationship between Chad and Taylor. Uh, man, that's, that's tough. Um, there's so many ways that you could go about it and it really just depends on, um, you know, if everyone was back. Uh, Obviously, it would be a continuation, or it'd be a, a pick back up of what has happened in the last 15, 20 years, or whatever, since um, we we last left these characters. So obviously, a, a reunion would be a part of it. I'm sure a high school reunion would be a good um, uh, plot uh, starter or a setting. Uh, but then, you know, other than that, I would just want to see where these characters have. Um, what they what they are when they're grown up, you know. I want to see uh, Taylor McKessie as president of the United States. I want to see um, her and Chad together. Uh, I want to see the amazing Broadway shows that uh, Ryan has choreographed or starred in, uh, and Sharpay's you know line of handbags or dog accessories that, you know, I would think that she's a business mogul of some sort and, and creating all of these things and Troy and Gabriella, you know, if they stayed together or if they didn't, you know, that they, they found themselves and uh, blossomed into, you know, better people and, and uh, it would be exciting to like see where, where we all ended up. It, it, yeah, it's been a dream come true. It, it's, they are so welcoming. I, I feel like I'm a part of the cast. I don't feel like I'm just, <laughs> you know, the. It, it, even though, yes, there is a generational gap, I, it really does feel like we're all interwoven. And I'm inspired by them uh, while also feeling like I, I can impart my experience and my wisdom. And. They, they just embody, I think, what High School Musical is, which is, is magic. Oh, it's amazing. Um, they did it, Disney did it right with the show. There's a million different ways that they could have continued the, the franchise of High School Musical, and I feel like this was uh, a perfect choice, you know, the way they've done the, t the show. and. The people that they have chosen to be a part of it, my goodness, those kids are not only extremely talented, but just sweethearts. I mean, they are so kind and genuine and real people. Um, being on that set is weird and crazy because it's like, oh, this is High School Musical, but everything looks different. But, oh, there's still some, there's some crew members that worked on all three of the movies that work on the TV show. So a lot of times I'm like, oh my God, I'm seeing people that I remember. We're, we're going back and we're shooting in the high school. Uh, 
that that just brings back more memories than even me going back to the, my actual high school, you know. Um, it's so visceral, it's so intense, and um, it, it's uh, it brings up all of the all of the memories and the emotions. And um, I'm so so happy and fortunate that they asked me to um, to be a part of it, uh, not only once but um, now again in the fourth season. So I'm really excited for everyone to see what happens. It's, it's gonna be good.